We've had chickens in VR. Now, this is going to sound utterly ridiculous. Is it? But now, <laughs> now, now cows are using virtual reality too. Wait, did, did everyone hear that, uh, that, uh, that pun that Mike just made? Utterly ridiculous. I don't think so. Utterly yeah. ridiculous. There's many more to come as well. Oh, wow. just, oh, just warning man. you. A farm in Moscow, Russia, are testing spe <laughs> spe specially made VR headsets on cows. Now, apparently, happy cows produce more milk, which means for produce and money, for farmers, you know, this is what they want. They want yeah. more milk. Yeah. Different countries across the world, I've been doing my research into this, different countries across the world have different methods to make the cows happy, mm. such as brushes to give them a nice little massage, <laughs> makes them really happy. They also even go as so far as to broadcast classical music to kill, keep the milk flowing. But is the this Russians, real? this is real. The Russians, <laughs> taking it to another level, bless the Russians, the developers of this concept, this VR cows concept, in cooperation with veterinarians and consultants, have adapted a human VR headset to fit a cow. So maybe this would fit ET as well, solving the problem we talked about earlier. Ah, nice, yeah. Um, and they made an experience that is kind of based on cow's unique vision because they only see certain color spectrums. They've created a summer field simulation VR experience for them. I, so I'm having a very happy. hard time believing any of this. I I, I don't believe it. You know that I last time when Mike started talking about chickens wearing <laughs> VR headsets, he was letting us believe it for a few weeks and then he told us it was fake. Yeah. That was true. That was a troll. Oh. I'm, I'm loving the, the puns in the chat though. Like uh, they must be using the move controllers. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it must be so emusive. Oculus <laughs> <laughs> uh, But apparently, during the initial testing, cow experts, there are cow experts out there, recorded a decrease in anxiety and an increase in the overall emotional mood of the herd. Wait, 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 wait. You, what did they measure? How happy they were with the milk that they produced. Can I just... What kind of video <laughs> are you playing with this? <laughs> I don't believe... I don't even know what it is. A cow experts <laughs> determine how happy the cows were. Like, I... I'm asking some serious questions about those kind of scientists. You, you can't argue with the cow experts, Rowdy. That's just... <laughs> they're experts in their field. We're becoming the a field. fake news it, show. They're, they're experts in the cow field. Yeah. Anyway, the, oh apparently the impact the impact of using VR on the milk production of cows will be shown by a further comprehensive study. So there will be more. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Like maybe you should be a part of this, Rowdy. Like with your with your this science is background. <laughs> I don't believe a word of this. You could be a pioneer. You could set a name for yourself. <laughs> this is the best science there is, Rowdy. Come on. It is. Doctor of cows. Round oh, groundbreaking science. <laughs> and this video is that also part of the research. <laughs> my my, my, no my idea. science senses are tingling. <laughs> my science no senses are tingling right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, it gets you excited. Is that what is that what it is? Yeah. So, um, although they, like in, in all seriousness, like so, this is kind of funny. Like cow wearing VR headsets, I think it's hilarious. But what is kind of interesting is if you think about like the long term future. Like we have an issue with like mass farming, and like we know mm -hmm. that that conditions with these animals in these like mass farming, whether it be chickens, cows, whatever, is kind of bad. So even if like, th this is kind of like a test right now, but if something like this could make animals happier in the future that are stuck in these conditions, then I'm kind of all down for yeah. it. But I but think- the, I think the, the big problem with that is, is assuming that their level of happiness is based on the idea that what we have what will be good for a cow. We don't know if a sunny, grassy field. It could be the food that they're taking that makes them happy. Like, I don't know, Mike. Cow so, experts, yeah. Rowdy. You can't. You can't argue with them, right? Well, this this so, means that that uh, Facebook and Sony can can sell more headsets in the end. They, they and we have them. maybe this is what VR uh, is going to look like when it goes mainstream. Maybe this is yeah. the mass adoption. It's not us that it's need cows. VR. It's cows and chickens. Cows. Wow. But, we, we have Kevin Brook in the chat uh, saying, rather than buy every cow a VR headset, wouldn't it be cheaper to just put them in a real field? <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably true. That's, that's, that's actually true. He, he makes a very good point. 
Oh, um, God. But this is a nice way for those companies to make money. Let's, let's yeah. be honest. But I think what they were saying, like in, in Russia, like this suburban Russia, they didn't have the space to have all these cows. But then you should argue, well, maybe they should have a farm in the first place. So, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> This is but, actually a terribly, terribly so it is depressing real. So it is, topic if you think yeah. about the actual ramifications yeah, of this, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, But I think, you know, like, it, it, if something like this in the future, even though I don't think it's very practical or that it's commercially viable for any farm to do this, I would I would kind of support it in that sense. But, but I don't look, think realistically this look, would be a thing in the future. But, uh, no, no, no. Like, I think realistically it is a thing. And I think the problem is that is? this is... So the, the point is, right, take a bunch of worker cows right and you're strapping headsets to them just change that one notch cow human right bunch of worker humans who are in a depressing situation who are going to have vr headsets on so that ah, let's pretend you're not in a terrible spot let's pretend you're not somewhere else next they're just going to be doing this with jails they're going to be like let's reduce the size and scale of our jails and our prison system um, and instead of having big jails that are nice and you know comfortable for the inmates, let's cut those into nine pieces, like little thing, and, and then each one you can have a cage with the person just standing there with a the VR headset on. Yeah. Didn't they have that in like Ready Player One in the IOI uh, yeah. boost? They were doing oh, yeah. like work and they were kind of yeah, stuck in these little cells. cells. That's, that's yeah. where we're going. With. Like this is. The... Anyway, but yeah. um, just just on a serious note though, like what are the specs? <laughs> I have no idea. They didn't share. What do you details. think? What do you think they maybe like like Pimax kind of like wide field of view because that I would think make I sense. Would, yeah, like they've that. got they've got a big IPD like ETs. standalone. Is it standalone? It looked like can it you was also tethered. play uh, revive titles? Yeah, <laughs> Beat Saber gets a boost. It's funny because um, B, B. R. Dizzy did a little image that Beat Saber oh, shared. Oh, yeah, and it was Dizzy. basically it was basically all these cow names that have logged all the high scores in Beat Saber. <laughs> <laughs> After this, like goes like you know you know B. R. Dizzy when they made this article about me uh, being stuck with my Pimax on my head and uh, they had to save me. Yes, I did. I did. I did read that. <laughs> so uh, I won't milk this uh, anymore, and I'll just uh, move on. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is way too good.